What is up guys, Johnny here, back with a brand new Call of Duty Mobile video. It is here guys, in a bundle for 1400 cut points. The DLQ33 Red Action is back in a bundle for 1400 cut points, believe it or not. And I guess we can say it now, it is the biggest controversy in the history of COD Mobile. Game launched in October last year, less than one year ago. Was in Season 1, available in the Season Pass crate. You could also buy the crates in the store. You could buy Battle Pass tiers to have extra crates and have a chance for the DLQ Red Action and also the BY15 Red Action. I think they were pretty rare, probably 0.6 or 0.8%, definitely less than 1%. Super OG, super old. Some guys got lucky. They got it in their free crates in the season pass. Uh, some guys had to buy a lot of crates to get both weapons at the end of the season. We're talking hundreds and hundreds of dollars. So anytime there's a move in Cut Mobile, there's going to be both sides of the story. Some players will be happy. Some players will be unhappy always. We're going to look into it today, guys. And before we start, make sure you guys subscribe to the channel right now for daily Cut Mobile videos. So I'm one of these players, guys. I did not get the DLQ Red Action and I didn't want to pay for it. I didn't want to buy like hundreds of dollars of crates just to get the DLQ Red Action. Yes, it's awesome. It was super nice. But I saw some YouTubers open a lot of these crates and I know the numbers. I'm I'm good with math and I know um, it was a huge gamble. And it, to me, it was not worth it that much money for a chance to have it same thing for the by 15 they're pretty cool skins but some guys decided to spend uh, like a lot of money and you guys can go back and watch some older videos on youtube that was their decision of course and they have the right to be mad right now that it's re-released for cheap like we we're talking less than 15 dollars here uh some guys got lucky they just got lucky they just bought the battle pass and in their couple free crates they happened to have super good luck and they got it i didn't get lucky i didn't get it uh these guys are also mad because they had something special something very rare or very expensive and now it's re-released and everyone's gonna be running around with it now yeah that sucks for these guys and they have the right to be mad by the way i cannot wait to read your comments guys let me know what you think about the re-release of the DLQ Red Action, but yeah, they have the right to be mad. And some guys say they should not re release Battle Pass rewards, but I say to me, this is not a Battle Pass gun. The Battle Pass guns are like the Type 25, the ASM 10. Now, when you buy a season pass, you buy you buy these items like you pay for that M4G series that was season one, uh, the PDW April Fools. And then the M4 LMG uh, Ribbon Explosion and stuff like that, you know. But I'm thinking these weapons, like the ASM-10 Racing Strike, that's the OG Season 1 Battle Pass, you know. And that one was the free, but still, you had to grind for it. So that, that's what you buy. Like the crates, you can buy more, you can grind tiers, you can buy tiers and stuff like that. I think it would be very, very messed up if they re-release the Battle Pass reward. I mean, everyone has the right to their opinion, but like I said, uh, some guys are very happy right now to see the DLQ re-released finally after missing the chance to get it for, for cheap. If you see the Reddit right now, guys, it is full. Like you scroll, you scroll to the Reddit page and it's all posts about that. And I would say it was pretty much half and half. Some guys are mad. Some guys say it's a big kick in the balls. Now some guys say it's giving the finger to the OG players. The guys who supported the game from day one. They deserve better. They don't deserve that. But also there's a bunch of guys that say thank you for re-releasing. I wasn't lucky in season one. I didn't want to buy crates. Um, and if you guys want to say like it was, it was their choice. They decided to put money in the game. They decided to buy hundreds of crates. To get it you, you kind of have a point yeah they did decide but if they had known that it was gonna be re-released like that would they have spent as much i mean it's still like almost a year ago though like they had the exclusivity for a long long time 
and I'm sure they're using other skins now. They don't even use it that much anymore. Now, if you want to talk about kicking the nuts, that would also be a freaking huge kick because that one, nobody had a chance to get it for free before. That was straight up crate. That was a crate with a super rare epic skin and you had to buy crates to get it. Then they released that one in the credit store, guys. And then it's the same debate. Every time they release something for cheap, there's always a free players that say, finally, us free players, we can get a cool skin for free or for cheap. And then the guys that paid super big amounts of money for it, they're super mad, understandable. But then again, I see the fights in the comments. So anyways, guys, you guys let me know in the comments what you say about the re-release. Are you going to buy that bundle? Did you wait for that for a long time? Are you happy? Are you mad? Are you frustrated? I will read the comments, of course. And once again, guys, you have the right to your opinion. Your opinion can be different from someone else. But please be respectful in the comment. If you see someone that does not agree with you, I mean, just try to understand, try to understand why. And uh, there's not much we can do, guys, but I guess we can expect that for the future now. If you're going to buy something in the crate, maybe try to think about how much you're going to spend for something. And that's what I do right now. When I buy some soldier skins and stuff, if it's not something that I absolutely want, I'm just going to pay like $10, $5, $10, open a few crates. If I get it, I'm happy. If I don't get it, I stop. And I hope it's going to release in bundles later and I can buy them for cheap. But anyways, that's it for now, guys. Thank you for watching. Hope you enjoyed the video. Smash like if you did. Don't forget to subscribe to the channel for daily comable videos. I will see you guys in the next one. Take care.